Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I've got for you today, if it does not bring a smile to your face and a tear to your eye of irony, check your pulse, you might be dead. Because this is so glorious, an anti-gun group, virtue signaling about gun buybacks, just violated state law and is probably going to get pinched and is currently being investigated by the sheriff because of said activities this please send out because this is glorious everything will be linked in the description box below i can't wait to hear what you guys think in the comments field and of course make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on and the content today is brought to you by the vanish giveaway i gotta show you and then we're gonna hit this. my brothers and sisters i am excited to bring you what i think is the biggest giveaway that i've ever seen on this channel and it's brought to you by vanish holsters now vanish holsters is made for the everyday american concealed carry patriot not the upper echelons of the gun world we're talking somebody who wants to have a gun, have it be comfortably stored, and safely stored to protect themselves and those that they love. This is the most comfortable holster that you're ever going to wear. This is a 48-inch belt that fits universally to anybody, and it's completely ambidextrous. It has a no-stink material, and it fits up to a 46-inch waist. This is something that you're going to want to check out. Look at this. They are launching the biggest giveaway I have ever had on this channel. They are giving one of you this incredible Jeep Gladiator and $25,000 worth of gold thanks to Vanish. To enter, all you have to do is click the link in the description and get yourself the most comfortable holster you've ever worn, and Vanish is hooking you up. Get $40 off now when you use my link in the description box below. All right, my brothers and sisters, as I have said in the previous videos, we are not in the war wagon, but this freedom train goes no matter where we are, and this is going to make you smile. Let me hear you in the comments. Let's get this. Listen to the breaking news coming out of New Mexico, the land of the little mini tyrant. San Juan Sheriff probes advocacy groups gun buybacks in Farmington. This broke yesterday. So, if you are not familiar with what I'm talking about, this is from the New Mexicans Preventing Gun Violence on Twitter feed. Pictures are unwanted firearms from a household in Farmington, New Mexico. Our gun buy box was canceled by the city, but local residents asked us to show up anyway. So we spent today dismantling guns house by house. Ironically, they kind of broke some laws when they did it. Listen to this. The San Juan County Sheriff's Office is investigating whether a Santa Fe-based gun violence prevention organization violated a state law on firearms, tra firearms transactions, raising questions about the legality of the group's gun buyback program that for years has received accolades. Oh, it's so good. You virtue signal on Twitter about your activities. You self-incriminate yourself against universal background laws passed by the little mini-tyrant, Governor Michelle Luan Grisham. This cannot be more delicious. Let's continue. New Mexicans, to prevent gun violence, had championed a bill creating the law, which requires background checks for most private firearm transactions. Ooh, this is, this is so rife with irony. Quote, I don't have anything against the New Mexicans to prevent gun violence, folks, San Juan County Sheriff Shane Ferrari said Monday. Quote, I just need to make sure they're operating lawfully like everyone else, added the sheriff, who said he personally doesn't believe gun buybacks curb crime. <laughs> nice little... Yeah. So, the investigation comes after the organization posted late Saturday on the social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter. It had gone house by house in Farmington to dismantle unwanted firearms after the city government pulled the plug on a gun buyback event. The city government pulled a plug on a gun buyback event? I thought it was the land of the virtue signaling gun grabbers under the amazing auspices of Governor Michelle Luan Grisham. Well, it turns out they're canceling buyback programs, so they go door-to-door -door anyway. In so doing, transferring firearms without universal background checks, by the way, a law that this group championed in New Mexico, it passes, becomes law, and then they violate that law in their attempted virtue signal and then post on it on Twitter. We've just witnessed the microcosm of gun control, but let's continue. The organization also came under fire by the New Mexico Shooting Sports Association and others. Quote, shout out to New Mexicans to prevent gun violence for joining forces with the rogue sheriffs and bad faith critics by refusing to comply with laws criminalizing private firearm transfers in New Mexico. The group wrote referring to the past opposition from law enforcement officials to various gun control measures the legislature has considered. Now, of course, that's tongue in cheek. That's a little bit of a smarty pants. And I'm here for it because the same people who advocated for these laws to infringe upon New Mexicans rights are now pinned up in it while they were bragging about it online. You, you cannot make this stuff up.
But again, it kind of highlights the idea of universal background checks from peer to peer or person to person has a little bit of a problem and can pinch people when they have the intentions that are not criminal. Now, I'm not for gun buybacks. I'm not for this organization taking guns from people. I'm not for any of that stuff. However, there is a little bit of an irony in number one, that they're getting pinched. Number two, that they were bragging about it and that's how they self-incriminated. And then number three speaks to the problem with the idea of universal background checks for every single gun transfer because these people just got pinched in doing what they considered the moral and virtuous move because they were virtue signaling while they did it. You cannot make this stuff up. And one last thing for you. Here's the bill that they violated. At issue is a bill passed by the legislature in 2019. The bill, signed into law by Governor Michelle Lewan Grisham, requires a background check when conducting a sale of a firearm. It allows for four exceptions, including sales involving a law enforcement agency and transactions between immediate family members. Oh man, all those, but all those safety protocols, it turns out it didn't work. Senate Majority Leader Peter Wirth, a Santa Fe Democrat who co-sponsored the 2019 legislation, said the intent of the law was never to require background checks when someone seeks to destroy their own gun. Quote, Ultimately, it would be up to the courts to review the specific facts and statutory language, assuming there is a challenge to the law, he said in a statement. So he passed it. He got the accolades. He gets to brag to his Democrat gun controllers. You guys, well, it depends what the court says. You cannot make up how bad this highlights the idea of universal background checks. And this is for gun controllers. Imagine if it's someone that they don't agree with politically. Yeah, just saying. So guys, what do you think? Was this the ultimate level of backfire delicious irony i don't know i look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments below let me know and i will see you on the next one i'm Braden. see you later